Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's Locational Series in MATLAB Tutorials. Today we'll be looking at the Symbolic Math Toolbox. And you would use that for calculus, linear algebra, algebraic and differential equations and transforms. And other things as well. And there are some of the commands we're going to use today. Um, before we know, we've seen this before, CLC clears the command window, clear all and clears the workspace and close all and close all figures. And if we slow down here a bit, that's the numerical answer to the square root of 2. And that's the symbolic answer to the square root of 2. And there is the symbolic answer to 2 over 5. So let's run that bit. So the symbolic uh, the square root of 2 is 1.412 and there's the symbolic answer. 2 divided by 5 numerically is 0.4. 2 fifths plus 1 third symbolically is. So let's just go back to that. So we have those answers there. And we have the pause. So that stops the program from running. And now we're going to clear my workspace. Define A, B, C and X. And then I'm going to define the quadratic equation. I'm going to ask it to solve it line 61 make it look nicer and then on line 64 I'm going to bang in 5 for x in my function f. Okay there's my solutions of the quadratic that's it slightly better not much I have to say and then here I've banged in 5 for x. Uh, here, unfortunately, I'm, I've done an easy plot of sine x and then I've done a surf plot uh, for sim x. And unfortunately, in advance, this one is going to overwrite this one very quickly. So apologies about that. So there's the second one. There's my easy plot and you can get that and you can rotate it and you can do anything you want. And as I said before, dark blue is the lowest values and you know, the brightest red is the highest values. Next thing, I'm going to de define a system of equations. x minus 2y plus z, so 1x minus 2y plus z, second row, 0x, 2y minus 8z, third row, minus 4x plus 5y plus 9z, here, not 8 and minus 9, not 8 and minus 9. And there's how MATLAB does it. Uh, right divide, and then I'm going to get, remember x here will have three solutions, you know, a, b, and c, or x, y, and z. So s1 would be the first one, x2 is the second one, and x3 is the third one. So the first value, the x is 29, the y is 16, and the z is 3. So that's it um, numerically. And here I'm going to do it symbolically. So I declared it as above. I used a MATLAB solve command and then I display my answer as before. So I have three answers, x, y and z, and then I just display it. So I get 29, 16 and 3 as before. But remember here they're symbolically, here they're numerically. I have another 111 to 131 is just another set of equations which I've solved symbolically. I'm not going to go through it, you can do it yourself, but once you've done it once, you've done it all times. So now I'm going to expand and collect, so I'll just hit return again. That's the second set of x, y and z. And I'm going to expand, so I'm going to multiply these out. So let's just hit that. So x minus 5 by x plus 9 is 4x plus x squared minus 45. x plus 2 by x minus 3 by x minus 5 by x plus 7 is blah. So you know, if you have to do a long expansion, MATLAB will do it for you. And there's, say, a trigonometric function there. <coughs> and then we collect. So x to the power of 3 by x minus 7 is x to the power of 4 minus 7x cubed. So I think that's explanatory enough, or I hope it is anyway. So I've done expand and collect. Now I'm going to do some factors here. So I'm on the last set. 
So you're to factor out x cubed minus y cubed. So and the factor of x cubed minus y cubed is x minus y by x plus y. And that, you know, okay, it's just so I factored it out there. Okay, it might have gone a little bit further, but at least it's a start. Then there's another factor there, and we get that. And then we have a simplification here of x to the power of 4 by divided by x squared minus 4. Is that? Just go back to there. So there's a simplify command. So that will sort of reduce down. So simplify and get the factors off. Okay, so you're breaking it down there. Just go back to there. You're breaking. You're getting the factors of that, as I explained to you in maths class, and there you're simplifying it like you're trying to reduce it and to make it more readable. Okay, so hope that helps a little. Thanks very much for listening.